Lord, oh, we give God honor this evening. We thank Him for all that He's done. And uh, truly, He is good. He's worthy to be praised by me. And all men can I enjoy what I heard thus far. I do you when you don't feel good. So, we have to. I, I don't know why I did this stand up while I was preaching to her. And uh, we've been going all day. That's not an excuse not to come to God's house, though. And uh, I could have said I was sick, which I've been all week. But that don't matter to God because we put Him first, and there's a blessing in folks. Many of us don't receive the blessings that we are. That's there for us. Yes. Everybody say, if you got to pray for your blessings, you don't either. You got to, all you got to do is be in the blessed life. That's be there to receive. That's you don't really got to pray for what's already yours. That's and I hear people go, say, yeah, you got to do that now. You told Abraham, I'm going to bless you. Yep. I'm going to bless them that bless you. Amen. And I'm Abraham's seed. He didn't change that. Then he told me he's going to bless them from generation. Okay, now y'all knew the y'all knew the verse. See, now how we turn around and get all mixed up with it? Hey, Amen. We tell folks, go pray for that blessing. You got to pray so God can bless you. You don't have to do that. You just got to be living so God can use you. Yeah, and true. the blessings will come. They're already there. I hear folks talking about, I need to pray for God to do this and name it, claim it, and all this stuff. You got to do all that. Amen. You know, what you need to do is be living so God can use you. And the blessings will show up. Ain't that right? Yes. We have it. We've taught folks so many different ways how to live. And, and some of this mess belongs to us preachers. And, and we have to, if we have the time now, we need to get folks where that get that mess straightened out. When we when we when the God that we serve allows us to stand before his congregation, get the mess straightened out. Don't keep telling them the wrong thing just because it was wrong and now they've heard it and you was wrong and they've heard it, you don't want to fix it. Fix it. Amen. Amen. All we gotta do is just fix it. Uh, in the in the second Corinthians, Paul, a letter by Paul to the church of Corinth. Uh, <clears throat> and not just to them. I hear folks say that, but it was to them, but that was considered the church, and that would be me now. That would be Cain. And that would be wherever you came from today. Yeah. It's to every one of us. Yeah. We are the church now. Now, and it was intended for all of God's children, not just a few people. God's children. Everybody goes, see, this is their, God wants everybody to have the word. Now, everybody can't eat it. Everybody can't have meat. Everybody can't eat meat. Come on. So it's not intended for them. But it's not up to me to judge who it's intended for. It's for me to do my job. And who God has, as they preach a while ago, who he has chosen, they'll hear it. And all that am I, and if we the children of God do our part, lifting him up before us, it was raw all that belongs to God. We I used to hear them say years ago that oh, you can't find the Lord. And I, and I said, I agree, I, you can't find God. God ain't never been lost. But if, and then you hear other most and you hear other preachers talking about, yeah, find God while it can be found. You know, I was like, that man's crazy. So I got to reading the scripture and in the natural sense, you can't find. Amen. But in the spiritual sense, you can. And how do you find him when he's never been lost? You can't find him literally, but you can find him in his children. Amen. We are the children of God. Yes, we are supposed to be God-like and we seek him that he may be found. Yes, in our brothers and our sisters. Yes, and we are supposed to be God-like so that others will believe what we're talking about. Yes, and if we ain't going to be what we say we are, that's why everybody's still off. Amen. Because they can't find nobody who's willing to believe. And mainly the one who said they do. Y'all catch on there, man. Uh, everybody there say great job number five. Then I'm going to sit down. I need to choose somebody else. Uh, now, I don't know about that because I'm already getting hoarse now. But I, all of it's in the hands of the good Lord. Now, five. 
2 Corinthians chapter number 5. Now Paul had a concern for the people just like I have a concern for the people. We have to learn to obey God. And when we obey God, things work. When we disobey it, it don't work. And that's bottom line. We want God to still work it, even though we're wrong. He don't work that way. Your mama might work that way. Your daddy might work that way. But God don't work that way. He don't do anything in evil. He's not made of evil. He don't tempt you. He knows what you're made of. If he's a God will try you, he don't try you. He knows what you're made of. Why would he try something that he already knows we? We're weaker than pond water. So how is he going to, what good is it for him to make? So that's some strong water right there knowing I'm pond water and I'm weak. Trying to try to make me real water and I ain't real water. I'm just that old stale water. Amen? So you try, everybody's trying to make God's people more than what they are. God didn't do that. Y'all there, I know y'all. Now, verse, verse number 16. Wherefore, henceforth, no, <clears throat> we know man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet, yet not henceforth, now we him no more. I know that sounds funny to people. That's why I'm going to say but I'll get to you here. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. And all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things, y'all hear that? And all things are of God. Amen. Who hath reconciled us. Now, ain't talking about the cars and all the houses out here. That ain't God. That's a man made. It's going to burn up. It's going to be destroyed. We're talking about spiritual works here. This is about spiritual. This ain't about common. Amen. Now it says, <laughs> it says, In all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given to us the mystery, the ministries of reconciliation. To say that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto him, not imputing their trespasses, imputing counting, their trespasses unto them, and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Y'all can be seated. Now, we if I had something to give you this afternoon, it would be the change. And that's and that's all it is, the change. You see the problem that uh, many of us have is that we want to tell everybody you need to get saved. We want to tell everybody you need to go to church. But then we walk out of the church and act just like they act. And then nobody who left the church need go back because why go back since you're yeah. just like I am. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yeah. Now, uh, when we're talking about the change, we're talking about one thing. Everybody loves John 3.16, but nobody don't like what comes after John 3.16. Uh, and everybody knows that whenever you're born of the Spirit of God, uh, it's, it's important to know who is him that died for you, but it's also important to know that the change comes from him. Yeah. Right. Now, the change is uh, what God wants us to have. Everybody wants to be born. Everybody wants to be saved. But nobody don't want to change. Uh, everybody wants to stay in the same door that they've always been in. And uh, we as preachers act like palm water. Uh, uh, Y'all know that's right. Uh, oh, we pond water. Y'all know what pond is. A pond? Yeah, it's a still water. They ain't going nowhere. Just staying in one place. We're showing the God we on the move. Yeah, y'all know that's right. We're not pond water. We like free water that runs free. Ain't, ain't that what scripture? That's what Jesus said. Everlasting water. That means it goes on and on and on. Amen? Uh, but uh, here we have to receive the change. Now, Jesus was talking to Nicodemus. Nicodemus came to him by night. Nicodemus had been a man of the law. Knowing the word of God and knowing how to interpret the law. Knowing the word and knowing how to teach the word. Yeah. But when he came up against a man that knew more than just teaching, uh, he found out something a little different. 
Yeah. Uh, Nicodemus came to it and he said right by, you know what people don't get is they, he, he identified himself and said right by, meaning you a teacher. Right. He said we know, not, not I know, but he said we know that thou art a teacher sent by God. Ain't that right? Uh, in other words, it's a shame to know that God exists. And saying you serve it, and you can't do no better than what you're doing. Right. And y'all know that's right. right. And and Nicodemus said unto uh, him, For no man can do the things that thou doest except he be from God. Right. In other words, the miracles that you're doing now, uh, and I've never seen them done before. I've seen the lame walking, and uh, I, I I know that uh, of the blind they've been able to see. Ain't yeah. that right, brethren? And, yeah. uh, 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 then he told me, he said, no man can do them things. He said, God <laughs> be on. with him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the way it is. And, and he uh, looked at him and he said, Nicodemus, except the man be born again. <laughs> and God, uh, I, uh, I think we look at the word born again uh, too liberally here, but uh, let me just take a moment, y'all, and then I'll be done with it. Uh, a woman has the conception of the child, and, and it takes nine months for the child to form for its first nine months. Ain't y'all hear that? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, ain't that the way it is? And while it's formed, it's in one place. Huh. And it's moving to the left. And right, you don't believe that's your wife. Uh, it moved to the left, and it moved to the north, and the south. Because it's hunting for another place to be. Because where they are is not comfortable anymore. They gotta have a new place. And, 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 and you see, the doctors get concerned. And that means the, uh, that why the preachers get concerned. Because when you ain't doing right, uh, so power can be, so growth can come, then he ought to be concerned about the birth of the child. Ain't God I know him. Uh, that change in that baby then comes out and, and the baby can't go back into where it was, but I got to make a change. Ain't God all right. And that's what he told nigga demons. Uh, when you come out, uh, when you come out from the dogs, uh, when you come out from the uh, of the lowlands of the sorrows, uh, when you come out from the valley, uh, when you come out from lying and stealing, uh, you gotta make a change. Uh, you gotta be truthful now. Uh, you gotta teach the word. Uh, you gotta be instant in season. Uh, and I see the proof review uh, with all those serving in the doctrine. Uh, ain't God all right, church? He's all right. Come on, yeah. thank God, good. I'm here to tell y'all, you gotta make a change. Ain't God good when change come? Uh, that means uh, you can't go back to where you were. Uh, go ahead, you gotta keep going forward. I ain't never seen a baby uh, try to go back in, uh, but I've always seen them uh, kicking, trying to get out. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, and if you ask the baby, uh, do you want to go back in the close quarters? Uh, do you want to go back where you had to eat? Uh, and your eating was stipulating uh, a little bit of him uh, and a little bit there. Uh, I guarantee your baby said no, no. Uh, you see how particular they are today? Yeah. Uh, while they're growing up, uh, they'll cross their own uh, and they refuse to eat things uh, that don't taste good. Uh, and that's us, the children of God. We ought to cross up our own. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. I'm not going to eat it anymore. Yeah. I'm not going to stand for it. Go ahead. Ain't God all right? You got to make a change. Uh, ain't God all right? You just keep talking. Uh, you're going to have to walk. Ain't God all right? Be a new creature. Ain't a fall hand. They'll pass away. You're gonna have to get rid of the former thing that you once walked in. You once walked in darkness. But we're in the light of salvation. That is by Christ Jesus. If you're in the light, you ought to enjoy the light. Ain't God all right? When you're in darkness and you enjoy darkness, then you're not God's child. That's the way it is. It's the way it is. I love the Lord. And I heard Jesus say, I love the Lord, Lord heaven. That ain't what he said. That's what you said. I love the Lord. He know my heart. I just messed up. And I heard Jesus tell John, who sit on the aisle of Patton. He said, I won't have you look. I won't have you look warm. You need to be hot. Oh, you 
going to be cold. Yeah. You ain't going to sit and you tell me uh, you don't have a little bad favor. Uh, but I'm going to be all right. Uh, he said, are you for me or are you against me? Uh, Got to make a change. Go ahead. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. Thank you, Jesus. Let's get us a song. Thank you, Lord. We're going to sing us a song. We're going to sing a song, and I want to say that I believe what we've been here. And the way that we do things here, you come on, let's get to the song. While we sing, I want to say, and that this is the way that we do it here, that the church door is open. If there's somebody here that feels like that they have answered the call of the Lord. And you feel that you need to be shown this word beside the Lord. And you want to come forward and give your hand to this church. We're glad we receive it. Thank you, Lord. This church can't save anybody. No, sir. But if you feel like that you've been the foot of the cross, we believe that, that this church could be a good home for you. But you need to be showing this world inside that you're on. Thank you. 